Hi guys, welcome back to the Mina Does Art Stuff YouTube channel. My name is Mina and on this channel we do art stuff. So I'm here today with a gouache painting video. So what I'm showing you here is a, it's actually my very first attempt at painting with gouache is what I'm showing you here on this grey paper. I quite liked how the cherry blossom one turned out so I'm going to try that again today. So all I've done is I've just taken a piece of, um, I think this, this is Canson um, XL watercolour paper. And I've just taped it down and divided it into four sections and I'm just roughly going in with a pencil sketching out a couple of things in the first in the top two squares so it's just a very basic landscape in the top left and just some diagonal lines on the right and uh, yeah so I've just I still have that tear off uh, palette with the paints that I squeezed onto it for the swatching video that I did for my most recent haul and uh, so I just added some water to those and I'm adding some additional fresh paint to some of the colours that I know I'm going to be using quite a bit. And uh, yeah, so first I started out with that bottom left square, uh, or rectangle rather. And this is the one where I wanted to do the cherry blossom picture again, but I wanted to have a blue background for the sky. And I thought I would attempt to um, do like a bit of a gradient background. So with this session this painting session I just wanted to play around with gouache a bit more practice some techniques um, I've watched a ton of videos about it and tutorials to kind of understand a bit more about how the medium works um, one thing I really learned while doing this painting or these several little mini paintings is that the consistency is key and I definitely sorry itchy nose um, I definitely struggled with consistency in a few places especially with this diagonal um rectangle this these diagonal lines in this rectangle there's a couple of times where the consistency is probably a little bit too watery and you can see the paint start to run into each other a little bit when i'm painting the lines but it was all a learning experience and i didn't try you know i didn't wait for one section to dry before adding the next color i, I was just practicing and um, learning as I go along. So here between the yellow and the orange, you can see there's a little bit of bleeding between the lines. And, and yeah, just keep going. I wasn't really going with a particular color scheme for this piece. I just was painting different colors, mixing different colors and having a play around with it. So the gouache is a mixture of Winsor & Newton gouache and De La Rowney. Both of them are from their designer designer gouache line so their professional line and uh, yeah they actually they re-wet pretty well and like I said for some of them that I knew I was going to use a lot of I added some additional pigment to the palette um, but yeah they all mixed well they re-wet pretty well and um, and yeah it, it went it went pretty well <laughs> don't know what to say about that but but yeah so I enjoyed doing these I probably with that rainbow one I guess you could call it I probably could have gone back with a second layer especially on those lighter colors like the yellows and oranges uh, definitely look a little bit more on the streaky side but it wasn't too bad um, and then for this top right I started by painting the sky blue uh, this wasn't actually the original color scheme I was going to go with this landscape but I completely forgot what I was going to do and started painting it blue and then remembered I was going to do something completely different but it's fine like I said this isn't like some finished masterpiece it's purely practice and getting to grips with using gouache and um, just playing around with the layering I also made a mistake here in how I did the painted the greens so I was doing sort of like three layers of hills essentially and I actually meant to do the lightest layer in the background working up to the darkest layer at the front because that's kind of how uh, when you look at a landscape it's the further away it goes the lighter it looks and I kind of messed that up but I just went with it like I said it's just practice it's just for fun not a big deal I actually ended up quite liking how that turned out it you know the lines turned out quite clean I was able to uh, keep the areas defined without the colors blending <laughs> yeah so I seem incapable of doing a painting without dropping my paintbrush now 50 50 half the time I managed to drop it not on my painting and somewhere else but this time it landed on the painting uh, you saw I just dabbed it up with a uh, cloth and now I'm kind of going back over the blue rectangle with another layer to cover it up so that's the advantage with gouache is that it is opaque so you can pretty much cover up uh, most things with it so yeah 
no harm done there, at least nothing permanent. I was able to go over and fix that up and back up to that landscape. So I mixed up a bit of a grey colour with white and black, but I will be honest, it ended up being a little bit darker than I originally anticipated. I wanted it to be a lighter grey. So I just went ahead and mixed up a lighter grey and just went back straight over it. Even though it was still wet, I didn't wait for it to dry. If you haven't haven't gathered, I don't have a huge amount of patience. <laughs> so I didn't want to wait for it to dry, but it kind of just mixed the two greys together on the paper, essentially. And it worked out all right. It doesn't look too bad there. Now, I think I, yeah, I'm mixing up a really, really dark sort of uh, indigo sort of colour. So I mixed Prussian blue and black. So it's really dark. You can't, you can barely tell it's blue. You can in real life, but on camera it's showing up really black. So I wanted a really nice dark background because I wanted to practice with um, layering lighter colours on dark to see how that works and like testing the opacity. And so on the blue on the left there, I just um, sketched out a really rough tree. And for some reason, I seem to have completely forgotten how to draw a tree. And so this tree looks really weird and doesn't look like a real tree. So there again, we're just like, what is that? Honestly, I don't even know what I'm doing <laughs> at this point. I don't know why it turned out so weird. But anyway, we're just going with it. It's just for practice. And in the end, it actually doesn't look as bad once I fill in the flowers. So I was going for a bit of like a cherry blossom kind of vibe with this one. And what you see me doing there is just popping on some lighter brown um, details on the trunk of the tree to give it a bit more dimension. So while I'm waiting for that to dry a bit, I can move over to the bottom right square and I'm adding a couple of sprigs of leaves. Again, mixing up a couple of different greens. I think the first one was mostly just sap green and this one is a mixture of sap green and ultramarine. And yeah, you can see the gouache is doing pretty well with the opacity. Like it's really, it shows up quite nicely against the dark background. It's not too pale or anything. And then here I'm just stippling on or just dabbing on with the tip of my brush some pink colours for the cherry blossoms. And I actually end up doing three different shades here. I do this darker pink, I do sort of like a peachy pink, and then I think I do a very pale pink, um, or mostly white with just a hint of pink in it. And then there's just a few dots off in the sky, sort of, I guess, indicating the petals blowing away in the wind. <laughs> Um, and then back to the bottom right, adding some flowers. Like I said, I had no real plans for these rectangles. It was more just practicing a little bit here and there and seeing how things looked and how things um, layered on each other. I didn't have too much of an issue with layers reactivating the layers below as long as I wasn't scrubbing at the painting too much. So that was um, good to know. And yeah, so here I'm just adding on the final details for this cherry blossom and then I think we're almost done. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. I hope to do more gouache painting videos in the future. Um, I'm still very new to this medium so I'll be playing around and practicing with it a lot more. Um, I had a bit of issue peeling the tape off, it did tear the paper just a little bit but not too bad. Um, I think it was just more my impatience at not peeling it slowly enough. But but yeah, anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Have you played with gouache before? Do you like gouache? What's your favourite thing to paint with gouache? Gouache is such a weird word. <laughs> anyway, so I will also have links to all the products that I used in this video down below for you. If you want to check those out, that'd be great. Otherwise, um, yeah, and some of those links are affiliate links and all that means is I get a small percentage of any purchase that you make without any additional cost to you. So that's kind of a win-win. It's a great way to support the channel if you'd like to. And, um, and yeah, all right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.